Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about the ballot score. The ballot score is a commonly used technique of gestational age assessment. It assigns a score to various criteria, the sum of all of which is then extrapolated to the gestation age of the fetus. These criteria are divided into physical and neurological criteria. So under physical criteria, we have six parameters, which are skin, lanugo, plantar surface, breast, eye, ear, genitals, male and female. And then the grades that we can assign are negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when we look at the first parameter, which is skin, negative 1 point stand for sticky, friable and transparent hair, transparent skin. Gelatinous, red, translucent, carry 0 point. Smooth, pink, visible veins, carry 1 point. Superficial peeling or rash with few veins carries two points. Cracking pale areas with rare veins carries three points. Parchment, deep cracking, no vessels carry four points. And leathery, cracked, wrinkled carries five points. We go to a second parameter which is Lanugo. None carries negative one. Sparse carries zero points. Abundant carry one point. Thinning carry 2 points, bald areas carry 3 points, and mostly bald carries 4 points. We go to our third parameter which is the plantar surface. Heel to toe if it's 40 to 50 millimeters, that is negative 1. And if it's less than 40 millimeters, then that carries negative 2 points. If it's less, less than 50 millimeters with no crease, that carries 0 points. Faint red marks carry 1 point. Anterior transverse crease only carries 2 points. Creases on anterior 2 third carries 3 points. Creases over entire soul carry 4 points. Breast. If it's imperceptible, that carries negative 1 point. Barely perceptible carries two, 0 points. Flat areola with no bud carries 1 point. Stripped areola with 1 to 2 millimeters but carries 2 points. Raised areola with 3 to 4 millimeters but carries 3 points. Full areola with 5 to 10 millimeters but carries 4 points. And then we go to our fifth parameter which is eye to ear. -O -ear. If lids are fused, eyelids are fused that car loosely, that carries negative 1 point. If eyelids are fused tightly, that carries negative 2 points. If lids are open, pin are flat and they stay folded, that's 0 points. The slightly curved pinna with soft slow recoil that carries 1 point. Well curved pinna with soft but ready recoil carries 2 points. Formed and firm instant recoil carries 3 points. Thick cartilage and ear stiff carries 4 points. Genitals. So genitals we have separate between male and female. So under male, if this, the scrotum is flat and smooth that carries negative 1 point. If scrotum is empty with faint rugae, that carries 0 points. If tested in upper, upper canal with rare rugae, that carries 1 point. Testes descending with few rugae, carry 2 points. Testes down, good rugae, carries 3 points. And testes pendulous with deep rugae, carry 4 points. Then we go to genital of female. If the clitoris is prominent and labia is flat, that's negative 1 point. Prominent clitoris with small labia minora carries 0 points. Prominent clitoris enlarging minora carries 1 point. Majora and minora equally prominent carries 2 points. Majora large while minora small carries 3 points. And majora covering clitoris and minora carries 4 points. So this is the physical criteria for assessment of maturity and gestational age. Expanded new ballot score. That includes extremely premature infants and has been refined to improve accuracy in more mature infants. Then we got to the neuromuscular maturity. As we had said that the ballet score is divided into two. We have the physical parameters and the neuromuscular parameters. So we go to the neuromuscular maturity now. So this has a total of six parameters and the scores are negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 for popliteal angle. So which are the parameters? We've got posture, 
square window, wrist, arm recoil, popliteal angle, scarf sign, and heel to ear. So posture starts with zero points. If the posture is straight, as you can see on the picture, that carries zero points. If there is a slight change, that carries one point. If the legs are slightly flexed, that carries two points. If the legs and arms are both slightly flexed, that carries two points. If the arms are flexed and legs are flexed, that carries three points. If both the arms and legs are severely flexed, that carries four points. Basically, four points is known as the frog shape. And then we go to square window. That that we square window that we're talking about is of the wrist. So basically, if you are able to move, if you are not able to move your hand less than ninety degrees, that carries negative one point. If it can go to 90 degrees, that carries 0 points. If it can move to 60 degrees, that carries 1 point. It can go to 45 degrees, that carries 2 points. If it goes to 30 degrees, that carries 3 points. And if you can't move it at all, it carries 4 points. Arm recoil starts with 0 points. If the arms can recoil 180 degrees, that carries 0 points. If they can recoil 140 to 180 degrees, that's 1 point. If they can recoil only 110 to 140 degrees, that's 2 points. If they can recoil 90 to 110 degrees, that's 3 points. And if they can recoil less than 90 degrees, that's 4 points. Now we talk about the popliteal angle. Popliteal angle, if it's 180 degrees, as it can get completely straight, that is negative 1 point. If it's 160 degrees, that's 0 points. If it's 140 degrees, that is 1 point. If it's 120 degrees, that is 2 points. If it's 100 degrees, that's 3 points. 90 degrees carries 4 points and less than 90 degrees carries 5 points. And we talk about the scarf sign. So what is the scarf sign talking about? That basically refers to moving one arm, moving the right arm, touching the left shoulder, moving the left arm, touching the right shoulder. So scarf sign, as you can see on the picture, if it's just straightish, so that's negative one point. If you're able to flex it, that's zero points. If you're able to flex it completely, that's one point. If you're able to flex it a little bit less, but move it more, that's two points. And as you can see on the picture, it's three points and that's four points. Then heel to ear. Basically refers to if you're able to push the heel to touch the ear. So if you're able to move it touching the ear, that's negative one point. If it goes all the way up, but doesn't touch the ear, that's zero point. If it's able to go up, but a little less than the previous picture, so that's one point. If it's not able to go halfway, that's two points. And if it can go less than halfway, that's three points. And if it just goes about maybe 45 degrees, that's four points. So how do you do the mature, maturity rating? If the score is negative 10, the fetus was 20 weeks. If the score is less than 5, that was 22 weeks. If the score is 0, that's 24 weeks. If the score is 5, that's 26 weeks. If the score is 10, that's 28 weeks. If the score is 15, that's 30 weeks. If the score is 20, that's 32 weeks. If the score is 25, that's 34. 30, that's 36 weeks. 35, it's 38 weeks. If the score is 40, the fetus is 40 weeks. If the score is 45, the fetus was 42 weeks. If the score is 50, the fetus was 44 weeks. So maturity rating is calculated by adding the physical and neurologic scores, calculating the gestation age. So that's all about the ballot score. If you like the video, please like, subscribe. Thank you.